Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue building on the phone messages solution, the enterprise version of that that I've been showing you. As you see here, I have two different site collections, the sales site collection and the IT site collection. On both of those, I've been using the IT phone messages application. And now I want to display a list of all my phone messages. The IT are taking phone messages for me and the sales are taking phone messages for me. I know that's not a very realistic scenario or the optimal way of working, but I'm just trying to illustrate some techniques here. I hope you bear with me. So I'm going to go to the root site that we promote as the body that they should go to where they see company HQ news. They may even have this site set as their homepage in their browser. So there I want to show a web part with my phone messages, no matter where they have been created in any site collection. So I'm going to start by editing this page, removing the get started thing here. And then I'm going to change the layout to have one column with a sidebar because I want to have the little web part with my phone messages up here. And then I want to, I remove the documents. I don't want them there. So instead I'm going to put in a web part under here. I'm going to use the content search web part, which is under the category content rollup. Add that. And uh, by default now it's showing the latest items changed in the site collection. So that's not what I want. I want to edit this web part. First of all, I'm going to change that it could show up to 50 items and it's going to show those with a paging if I have a huge number of items. And also I want to change it so that it uses the two lines display templates. Then I want to go in under appearance and change the title, my phone calls. And I'm going to change so that it shows the title and border. Then finally, I'm going to change the query so that I actually get just my phone messages. And in this solution, I have gone through the trouble of creating a content type that has been used all over my SharePoint tenancy. That means that it's available for searching also. The search engine does pick that up. So I'm going to use the item matching content type. And I'm going to not specify a URL. Don't restrict results by app. So I want to get all of them from the entire tenancy. And I want to select the show all content types first to, so that I can select count TOSO phone message, message because those are the ones I want. Then I need to select the ones that are trying to reach me. So I need to switch to advanced mode and change the property here that I want to filter on. I'm going to show all the managed properties. And I've created a property called called so I'm going to find that called OWS user. That's the one I want. And I'm going to, if that contains the name of the user who runs the query, I'm going to test that query and that should give me two of them now. That's correct. And I'm also only going to show the ones where the called returned does not equal the manual value of yes. So that should show me only the ones that I haven't yet returned. That's still showing me two. So as you see, it's showing two phone messages now. And I'm just gonna apply this now. I actually have one more thing to do. As you see, it's showing my phone calls there. Final thing that I'm gonna do is change the property mappings here. So you see the first row here of my two lines display templates is showing the phone number, which is fine. But I want the second one to show the name of the person who called. So I wanna change the mappings. Sometimes you need to click this button several times for it to stick. I did that and the line two, I'm gonna get the name of caller. So I have that in alphabetical order, of course. Name of caller, OWS text, that's the one I want. So now I'm gonna apply that and see how that looks. And there we go. The, my phone messages with phone number and person who called. So now I just save that, the entire page. And there you see my phone calls. Now, if I log in as somebody else, in this case, I'm going to log in as Antonio. I'm going to go to the HQ site again. There you see my phone calls 
and that's indeed showing the ones for Antonio, whom I'm logged in as here. So that concludes my demo on how to create a My Phone Calls web part on the Company HQ site. Thank you for watching this demonstration.